hello guys welcome back to my channel so i'm continuing on with favorite places and things to do etc etc today's one is on just food so just simply restaurants yeah because even though i did talk about food in some of the other ones this one it's not a bar or anything else just restaurants all right so let me tell you okay so my favorite restaurants are gusto love gusto okay so gusto is an italian restaurant i love italian food i don't know if i've ever mentioned it on here but once upon a time i moved to italy not for that long for about five or six months and oh my god the food i love the food and this restaurant the food is really quite authentic i don't know if an italian would agree with me on that one too but a lot of the flavors they have i think the actual chef is italian but don't quote me on that i'm just just by how the food is produced i think but i don't know but it's really nice and not only that like it's oh yeah so let me tell you where it is so it's you go into senegambia past the checkpoint and it's the first left it's just a door down no it's it's right next door to diamond actually right next door to diamond and just from the outside you wouldn't expect it to be how it is so when you go in it's like a little it's like a i don't know like a little cove or i don't know if it's the right word but you would never expect it it's so lovely the way it's been decorated is really nice there's a lot of greenery and everything on the outside they've got outside seating and they have inside seating and i do believe i think people do go there just for a drink sometimes as well because i think they have a pool table if i'm remembering correctly the last few times i've been there i sat outside and other than that i've also delivered had delivered food delivered to my house so yeah i can't remember exactly but it's really really pretty food is just mm, really really good i've had their pastas i've had pizza i think i've had seafood i think so and then obviously some dessert oh, really nice actually as i'm talking about i'm thinking i want to go and have something anyway yeah so really really nice okay so next one is cassie's i already mentioned it so well there's two cassie's there's the cassie's lounge which their food there is really good and then there's the cassie's cafe i really like the cassie's cafe too so you can get like your kind of sweet treats they do like pastries tarts um, nice desserts they also do like fresh juices smoothies with no added sugar that's what i go there for the majority of the time if i'm honest love 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 the juices and you can also the food's nice too like there's this prawn in garlic oil that i really like I, i've been in that a few times it's really nice an appetizer but it's really really nice and it's nice to just sit if you i've gone there to just do work before I've like taking my laptop and just sit sat down and done some work i've um met friends there and i've, and I've just gone alone there yeah I, I i really like it really really do like it i go there quite often oh and the staff are really lovely ambiance is nice i like the whole decor it's really cool kind of like kind of more, more European kind of contemporary European kind of thing if you're into that then you'll like it I like it okay the next one oh obviously Motu Motu go there all the time I think when I first came here that was probably the only restaurant like like me and my family really went to or me and my parents really went to it's a twist on Jamaican food they do have your traditional Jamaican foods not all of them but for me personally, I don't think, I, I think I've, I've mentioned this beforehand, if you don't know this about me, I'm not really into Jamaican food, to be fair. And there's a lot of it that I just don't like. So I, I really like this, this restaurant because it's a twist on some of the Jamaican foods. Like you've got your jerk chicken, you've got patties, and I think there's oxtail, curry goat, but I, I don't, actually I don't even know if it's curry goat, but I don't eat those things. <laughs> no, 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 no. Once upon a time I did, but. Mm -mm, no um, but yeah so i love the alternatives i'm always having wings i love like they have jerk prawns oh love that you know your snapper it's really nice again the staff are lovely and the vibe is just top 
here. So like that's why I was always going there. Like, you know, it's always nice to have a nice vibe wherever you are. And especially if like the management and or owners, etc., are really cool, then it makes you want to keep coming back because being in Gambia, that's the whole premise of Gambia. Like everyone talks to each other, everyone says hello. So it's nice when you go somewhere and you just feel very welcome. Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, didn't say where it is. So Motu is on the main highway. So you pass the entrance to Sena Gambia and you'll see Echo back. Well, first you'll see there's a well nice Oryx. Used to be Atlas Petrol Station and then there's Echo Bank that's kind of next door to it. Then it's next door to that. It's in former Dream Park in there. So you kind of see like cars parked at the front and you just go down and you'll see that it's just on the left hand side it's kind of like a what do you call it like a cul-de-sac type shape if that makes sense where's the building it's a c shape anyway so it's at the bottom there it's, yeah really cool and what else was i going to say about that and that's it oh and i forgot to say all the details for the places i'm going to be talking about are going to be in the description bar below so if you want numbers social media all of that stuff it's all down there and yeah so hopefully you'll be able, to, be able to find it for yourself all right so next one is mani sushi oh fyi i'm also looking down because i've got things written down otherwise i'll probably forget i didn't realize that there's so many but anyway mani sushi mani sushi is in the village that is opposite the tropic mall on the highway and obviously many sushi they do sushi and things to, to be fair i i actually have never tried sushi but i've had other food that they have there again it's quite authentic to what i know i think don't kill me but anyway all i know is that i like it and that's all but I, oh my god the prawn dumplings mm, so nice and oh my gosh this decor is gorgeous it's so so cool really really nice so whoever did that I love it really really nice yeah and then again the staff and everyone is so lovely oh yeah i had the, the prawn dumplings like my favorite i actually feel like them now anyway and um i had i think it was teriyaki salmon with some noodles oh really really nice really nice i love the salmon <sighs> anyway yeah oh i forgot about another restaurant i need to talk about that's right next door to it anyway yeah really love that yeah so that's in the village if you go to the village and then if you walk down the main walkway that you pass the fountain and just go straight it's quite obvious when you go there then it's on your left hand side yeah it's next door to luna luna yeah love it and then next door to there is another restaurant that i really like beyond burger so as you know obviously they have different types of burgers and me personally i don't eat beef burgers but i have had the chicken burgers they've got a few different ones they've got jalapeno jalapeno one spicy chicken burger i've had the fish burger that is so so nice they have different types of chips so you can have like wedges and then like regular style chips the wedges have a certain flavor or seasoning on it i can't remember what it is now but it's really nice yeah, so if you're like feeling for like a burger and that, that's really, really nice. And again, like I like the way it's been designed. It's really nice and the staff are nice there too. Vibes on vibes on vibes. And then next door to there, I think it's in the right order. Well, anyway, they're all in the same vicinity is Myers. Myers. I can't believe I didn't, I didn't write it down. I forgot. But anyway, Myers. Myers. I love Myers and again nice decor really lovely decor and the staff are really lovely i go there all the time i've had so many different things i've had prawns pasta salads oh my god what some of their salads are nice juices they do fresh juices i know they do like um desserts i don't think i've had any desserts but apparently i've heard they are really good yeah i love myers love okay what else Oh, Vineyard. Vineyard is in the same vicinity. Although it's in the village, it is at the start of the village. You'll see a supermarket called Express and you go upstairs and that's where Vineyard is. I've only been there once, but I really liked it. 
So it's more or less Indian food. Really good. What did I have again? Was it prawn curry? I think it was prawn curry. I think so. I think it was prawn one. It was really nice with coconut rice, I think I had. Oh, really good, really good, really good. I really enjoyed it. And I'm not someone that really likes Indian food like that. So yeah, I enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. I can't, I'm not, I'm gonna be very honest here. I'm not gonna say that the, the decor is great. Like, I'm not even gonna say that because for me personally, especially being an interior designer, I'm, I'm not really feeling that. I feel like I should help you out, guys. Call me. Um, but like the staff, lovely, like really, really lovely. I couldn't fault them on that at all. And yeah, it's nice where it is because it's like upstairs, so you can kind of get to see outside and see if you like to people watch, then you'll like that. That aspect of it, I really do like. And I think that's it. Yeah. Okay, and then, oh, Danubian. Danubian is where Big Apple used to be. So there used to be a club called Big Apple, but they've moved or gone. I don't really know. But anyway, so they're on the main highway. You can see it from the highway where Big Apple is. Now, I think next to it is a Chinese restaurant, but it's just, just, just recently. So if you knew where Big Apple was, then you'll know exactly where it is. Called, well, I don't think it's pronounced Danubian. It's spelled that way, but I think it's just pronounced Nubian. So basically they have like fresh fish and they have it laid out and then you can choose which one size and whatever. And then it comes with like this really nice seasoning. Oh, so good. And chips and salad. Well, you don't have to have it with chips if you don't want to, but you can, there are other options. They have a vast menu actually, but I usually only get this. Mm, so good. Oh my God. I love grilled fish. Oh, yum. So yeah, highly recommend. And the staff are lovely. The decor could do a bit of upgrading, but in terms of like the way the food and the people and the vibe is there. It's there. Definitely. So, oh yeah, I told you where that one is. Okay, so next one. Green Mamba, Green Mamba. Oh my gosh. So, Green Mamba is next door to Rio's. I did mention this beforehand, but let me say it for this video. So you go into Senegambia, past the police checkpoint, go straight till the end of the road, and then turn right at the roundabout. So you turn right, and then you'll see Rio's, and next door to Rio's is Green Mamba. Yeah. So they, I usually go there on a Wednesday, but I think they do more nights now. Anyway, so it's like seafood boil and things. I think it's... I know it's Wednesday. I'll put the menu up and things. Anywho. I think it's Wednesday and Friday now. But anyway, they've got a couple more nights. But I used to go on Wednesday nights to have seafood. I love seafood. You know, you've got your like, lobsters, your big prawns, and and this fish and, and seafood, um, squid, a bit of, I think, not oyster, mussels, I think. But yeah, it's like on a chopping board and that, and like you can have it really hot, spicy, or you can have it, you know, you can have it to your liking, basically. It's, and the ambience there is really nice. It's like outside. So it's like you're within nature. It's really nice. They've got like a little pool table if you want to play pool. And they have their bar. Oh my gosh, their like cocktails and that are really good as well. I love their strawberry daiquiri. <sighs> love i actually did a video one time when i was there with my friend and i did that for tiktok love 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 yeah so that's one of my faves then oh last one is iceland so iceland is in i would assume you call it fajara it's either fajara or back out i'm not quite sure because basically you go to traffic light you cross straight across as if you're coming from turntable, you're that direction. Go straight across and it's not too far up on your left hand side. Yeah, there's a, I think there's another shop called Foodies or something that's near it. I've not been in there to be honest. But yeah, Iceland is where you can get really good ice cream. It kind of sat, tastes more like gelato than it does like your regular ice cream. So nice. They've got so many different flavours and then you can get waffles, you can get pancakes i believe yeah and i think that's 
good but so good really really nice really nice i think you might be able to get milkshakes and stuff i'm not sure i think i think so yeah yeah, yeah. you can you can you can really 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 do like that and that's it that's it for food those are my favorite places those are places that i will continuously keep going <laughs> once i find somewhere then you know i kind of find it hard to like detach myself you know but yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed that and i will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye